all for this. That's negative thinking, McGeorge. Brunel, brothers. What happened? Wrong number. So let me try. No, no. I can't expect you to pull this off. It's a job for someone with a cool vocabulary and nerves of steel. Check them shocks, too, while you're at it. Sure. Brunel, brothers. Yeah, hi. He's not there. You're talking to him. Who's this? The name's Stinger. Johnny Stinger. Well, we got a mutual friend. Uh, what friend? A guy by the name of Sergeant Phillips. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, pal. I don't know anybody named Phillips. Well, sure you do, Knife. He works security detail down at the air station. Told us to give you a call. You see, we deal in hardware. The high-tech kind. Who's we? Oh, well, my partner and I. Snake. <laughs> Your partner's got a funny name. Yeah, well, it's a funny business. Look, uh, we got some DMDGs. Are you interested? Well, if they're genuine. But uh, I don't deal with anybody I don't know. Hey, you want me to hang up? It could be real easy. Hey. At the warehouse this afternoon. That plan's out. You bring him to me. Yeah, but the deal was... The deal's off. Now, if you want to do business, then you bring him to me tomorrow night. Well, I guess your boss really doesn't want those data bursts after all. Data bursts? You got data bursts? Nobody's got them. Yo, we do. A whole grateful. But no sweat, if you don't want them, I can just tell that to your boss the next time we see him, you know. Have fun swimming with the sharks. Uh, all right. All right. We'll meet you out there this afternoon, just like you said. Great. See you then. Oh, uh, Stinger. Yeah? The data burst had better be real, or you're going to be real dead. Gas up the van. I want to tell you, piece of cake. I think I'm going to throw up. I'm going to attach it down here, Leonard. Hey, tighten up on the wire, McGeorge. Hey, Buck, how much more stuff do we have to rig? We're almost there. Not now, Squeak. I'm busy. Look. Wow. Aren't those damn DGs? Yeah. I get it. Philip steals the radios from the high-security warehouse, then he brings them over here and he stashes them. Good work, Squeak. Leonard, we've got to talk. Hey, tank 10, McGeorge. I'm pumping up the little fella. One day, you and I are going to ride the big ones at YMA, buddy. Get lost. Leonard, if my parents find out we borrowed their video camera, I'll be grounded for a month. Would you relax? It's for a good cause. Good cause? My father will good cause me right over the head. I don't think they won't appreciate your tremendous personal sacrifice. Leonard, he'll murder me. It's a tough, lonely world. I still don't understand how this whole setup is supposed to work. Hey, Bug, we film in on this. It's quite simple, actually. When the thieves enter the warehouse, their vehicle will trigger the light sensor, which will activate the video camera up there. And those sets of trip wires are rigged to detonate these sulfur and manure charges, which in Manure turn... charges? Stink bombs. Chinese Nung mercenaries have been using them for centuries with great success. When the charges go off, Squeaker will hit the lights, which will trigger the strobe blasts from these halogen bulbs. Strobe blasts? Fog. To temporarily impair their vision. To give us ample time for our escape, whereupon we will lock them inside until the authorities arrive. Leonard, do you think Major Hackett will believe us? Of course. You're going to be wired for sound, buddy. We're going to have the entire transaction on tape. Wait a minute, that looks like my cassette recorder. <laughs> it is. Thanks, McGeorge. It's really good of you to let us use it. My clarinet lessons. A whole year of them down the drain. Sorry. There's one last thing I have to have, and I'll need some help getting it. Got it. Let's put this thing right together. Screwdriver.
Pliers. Will you cheer up, McGeorge? It's not that bad. After tonight, you're gonna feel like a million bucks. Right now, I feel like two cents. Well, to start, this is gonna be a cakewalk. I'm talking easier than the time we raided the bake sale. Don't remind me. I still haven't gotten the powdered sugar off my jump boots. After this is over, we're going to Hawaii, partner. You and me doing the hula with the cute girls on Waikiki. I sunburn easy, Leonard. It's more than a quick tan, McGeorge. I'm talking strolling in the beach of life in a major way. I am talking shooting the curl of cool. Will you stop it already, Leonard? I'm getting seasick. Hey, Ray. Two double chocolate shakes on my tab. Sorry, a credit shot here, Leonard. No sweat, Ray, babe. Just uh, put them on McGeorge's tab. Thanks, pal. Here's some nice cling peaches on some Bartlett pears. They in there? Affirmative. Let's go pay him a little visit. Now! How's it going, Bug? Almost got it. I don't feel good about this, Leonard. I think we ought to go to Major Hackett right now and tell him what we're up to. And ruin our moment of triumph? You deny us that? This is our big chance, McGeorge. Well, for years we've been looked down on, called rowdy and offensive and repugnant. But we are. Nobody's perfect. Look, we're doing this for America, for truth, justice, and all those ninth grade chicks are going to fall all over us. Ow! Don't look now, Romeo, but we've got problems. Well, well, if it isn't the stink pots. I thought I smelled something in here. Probably just your socks, you Meyer. Look, I told you before you're going to pay for those wisecracks. You know what today is? What? Payday. Hey, look, I don't want any trouble in here, Chuck. Look, go play with the whipped cream, Ray. This is a private matter. You guys walk around here like you own this space. Like it's your own personal playground. We've had your moment of glory. And it's over! We're gonna walk away with that youth service award today. Terrific. How about walking right now? Yeah, your feet smell. You know, I don't think I like the way you're dressed. No? I think you need something, uh... Something a little more. Get the picture? Don't even think about it. I don't believe it. I can't take my eyes off the Brat Patrol for one minute without risking national security. Oh, we can explain, sir. Explain what, Mr. Kinsey? The youth center is a sea of tapioca. The little Peters girl was struck senseless by a scoop of pistachio. The Davis boy splattered with maraschino cherries. Never mind. What have you got to say for yourselves? Men in war do strange things, sir. Mm. They started the whole thing, Dad. I am not concerned with who started it, Charles. The point is that it never should have happened, and you are as responsible as the rest of them. Therefore, I'm volunteering all of you to clean up this mess and pay the damages. But, but, Dad! Take it easy, Chuck. Your face is breaking out. Charles, you and your men get squared away. The Youth Service Awards ceremony begins in three hours. Prompt. Dismissed. Stop, not you. I'm not through with you yet. If I was worth half my salt, I'd have your fathers down here and read the riot act of them. Unfortunately, with Secretary Atwood here, I don't have time. Therefore, until I do have time, you are confined to quarters indefinitely. Is that understood? Are you going to clean me up? Hmm. Major Hackett, see that all parents are informed. Aye, aye, sir. Down here? Yeah. 